Hi friends, how are you? I hope you are all doing well. Now I'm going to show you how you can create your own VPC with uh, private and public servers. So let's get started. First, uh, in the services, let's go to VPC. Okay, and um, here is my VPC. Okay, launch my VPC and then I'm going to create a new VPC here create VPC so its give name is results and shops IPv4 CIDR block I'm going to choose uh, yeah, 10.0.0.0 slash 60 that's uh, that then IPv6 CID block no IPv6 CID block okay Amazon provided IPv6 CID block let's keep it as this even though I am not going to use IPv6 but let's keep this as this and uh, this is my CID block and let's create okay so I have created a new VPC here this is my default VPC and this is the new VPC that I created sites and shops okay after I have created the VPC I'm going to create some subnets. Uh, let's create a subnet here. Subnet um, choose availability zone so 1A. So I call it subnet. And then the VPC, I choose the VPC that I've created. And then uh, here I'm going to assign IPv4 CIDR block. So it should be 1.24 okay. Then I create a new one I get one more. Subnet one C. Choose availability zone one C. So each subnet in each availability zone. That's my plan. So let's 10.0.0.0 uh, slash 24. Okay, uh, let's create one. Okay. So we have created three subnets 1a, 1b, 1c. That's that. Um, let's go to the root tables. So we have one root table that is for default and uh, this one is created for my uh, new VPC. I click here then I will see the VPC my sites and shops for VPC. So I just create it again. Business. Okay. So uh, let's see the roots. Here we can see if the distribution is 10.0.0.0 slash 16 then it goes to the local that means all the subnets can communicate with each other um, there is no public route available in my uh, sns vpc so that means this is private now uh, subnet associations 
I need to associate my subnets. Let's say uh, one A. I'm going to keep it in the private. And let's create a new rule for public. SNS public. And then here we choose the VPC. Create. Okay. I've created a new route. This is for public. And then uh, at this moment there is no association. And there is two default route already created. I'm going to just add a new one. And this is uh, the public internet 0.0.0. .0, .0. And it should redirect to uh, Internet Gateway. Okay, uh, I just need to create the Internet Gateway first. Sorry. Let's go to the Internet Gateways and <coughs> create a new Internet Gateway. SNS. Create new internet gateway and then actions attach to VPC and I'm going to attach with my VPC. Okay, so this is my new uh, internet gateway, it is attached to the VPC sites and shops. Now, if I go to the root tables, I will see that. Create the internet destination. So the destination is 0.0.0.0 means it's public internet. So yeah, here it is. And then I choose the internet gateway here. And it's as I did. So and one more for the IPv6. This is also internet gateway. And uh, okay. Save it. Okay, so we have um, one root table that is public. I need to assign some uh, subnets here. But if I see uh, SNS and then subnets, I have selected subnet one A in the private, and then let's choose one B and C public. So we have uh, one B one C public, and we have one A private. So I just need to set some other things here. Other options like internet uh, gateways that have created, like only internet get RJS only internet gateway, DHCP options, elastic IPs, minus prefix, links, endpoints. These are advanced level. You don't need to use this unless you have uh, any specific reason. So I just need to do one more settings here in the subnets. So here this is my private and this is to my public. And here I just need to edit the settings. So enable or assign public before I create this. That's true. One B and this is one C. That means automatically I put before address will be assigned. And one more thing. Okay, that's it, guys. So let's uh, go through the EC2 and create some instances. I will create one instance in a public subnet. So let's try to launch an instance. That's on Amazon Linux 2. D2 Micro. Oh, sorry, just one more minute here. I have 
Is there any instance running? Oh, it's terminated, so I can launch an instance. Choose the IAM role. Here in the network, I need to choose my network. So this is my network, and I just need to select on one uh, B or one C. This is public. Add storage. Thanks. Okay, here you see we have a public IP repo address and it's automatically created. One thing is that public DNS IP repo is missing. So something we have done wrong. Let's go over there and go to the VPC and let's check if there are any settings. Hey, this is edit DNS host names. So I'm just going to create another one. So this will be not applicable here, but if I terminate this and create a new instance, I will see that I get a public uh, public DNS IPv4, which is a human readable DNS, not the numbers. Okay, so uh, that's on a um, public subnet. So let's create a new one with a private subnet. I choose uh, here and I have selected 1A in the public so let's use that instances here you can see this is my uh, public it's running up and down it has uh, it is now a public DNS IPv4 and now we want to see the private one here you see this is my private subnet and there is no public IP I cannot access that it has only private IP so to access this instance either I need to use systems manager or I can use uh, I can log into this instance and from there I can connect to this instance. So like Bastion host or uh, Jumpbox, something like this we need to use to connect to that instance. So that's it guys. I hope uh, this is a very quick introduction to VPC where you can keep your uh, web server in the public subnet and your <coughs> database server or application server in a private subnet so that no one can access to that uh, from the internet so i hope this will help you to uh, learn vpc i will create more tutorials on vpc like api gateways sorry, sorry uh, uh, net gateways and uh, rjs internet only these two options as well and hopefully this will make you more clear on those things so thank you for watching my video and have a nice day bye